Paul, a narrow defeat, how would you judge it overall? Um, I thought first half, I thought we were a little bit apprehensive. I thought we didn't uh, play on the front foot. I thought we were happy to stay where we were. We didn't overcommit, we weren't brave enough. Um, and that's where the goal came from, to be honest. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't step on um, in the first instance and then the ball's come to Finn Smith. Actually, he's probably not had a not had a good first touch. It's popped up, and he's hit a worldie, um, and that's what seems to be the case. I mean, you, you go back to Hyde, the great goal, same corner, and today, and that's been the undoing of it. Um, but I thought, I thought second half, I thought we were braver. We took it to them. We played most of the second half in their half of the pitch. You know, um, we were on the front foot. We were aggressive, without really creating a lot. But there was a few instances where I think if the referee sends Joel off in the first half, I've got no complaints with that. But because he didn't, it was like he was even in every decision up after that, um, not in our favour or against us. Um, I thought he was weak. Um, but I said to the lads after the game, and I've said it before, at whatever level, You've got to be better than the 11 you're playing against and the three officials because you can't depend on them, you can't rely on them, you can't trust them because you don't know what they're going to give. You don't know, like, Joel's just a stonewall sending off. And for me, it's a stonewall penalty on Sean Cook. Yeah. But, you know, that's his way of evening it out. Every time there was an, uh, a delay, you know, the lad's down for three minutes with cramp. 22, 23 years of age, he's probably not even that old and he's got cramp. But just, just little things and, and fair play to them. It's not them. They've a good side. Millie's got a good side. He's built that over time. You can see they play with they try and play with control. But I thought we took it off them in the second half a lot. Um, but I've got no complaints with how they played the game. It was the, the, I thought the referee was really weak in, in clamping down on the time waste and the delay. And then, as I say, I've got no complaints with Bamba doing it because um, I'd want us to do it. But uh, unfortunately, we come out of it with nothing after giving so much. Uh, you mentioned Sean Cook there. I don't know if he may not have even been trained, but he seems to come on and have a positive impact straight away. He's gone now, isn't he? You know, he's a good player, knows the game, made things happen, opened the pitch up for us. Um, you know, was a threat, got into goal scoring opportunities, and like I say, it's a pen and, and a definite foul on him on the edge of the box. Don't know how high up the pitch it was, and he gets neither, but you know. Next week he'll get them. Next week the ref will, will, will give the penalty because he doesn't have to feel he needs to even it out. But um, he's quality. He's going to he'll, he'll score goals for us. Uh, you've spoken many times about sort of fine margin, both in games and in the season as well. At one point in this game, we were twentieth in the league, but with other results, we're sort of still in play. Is that uh, something that we need to sort of take advantage of now? I've said that to them after the game. I said nothing changes from our perspective. Is that we've got to win, whether whether you know, we drop a position, we move up a position. It's going to go to the, it's going to go to the end, isn't it? You know, and we can only do what, what's in our control. Um, but I feel again, since I've come in, we've obviously had two defeats and two two wins. But I personally don't feel we've had a bad performance. Thought we had a poor 45 first half, but second half, I thought we deserved something out the game. But unfortunately, we didn't get it.